Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to another video. Um, this is the introduction of my Minecraft mod series. In the first couple of episodes, I'm going to introduce you to some mods that I personally like to use and how to install them. With those videos, I'll be also showing you separate videos of what the mod does, how to use it, how to have fun with it, and enjoy it. So yeah, the first couple mods that I am going to be showing off are useful for tutorials, example videos, anything that basically makes it a making a video a lot easier. So hopefully some of this helps you uh, making your own Minecraft tutorials. So uh, let's head off and head to step one. So before installing any type of mod, a lot of mods use a mod called Mod Loader. It basically helps other mods not collide with each other, not break, crash, anything to do that will jeopardize your Minecraft experience. So to install this mod or any mod, you have to actually find the Minecraft folder. The easiest method is to go open your Minecraft launcher, then go to options. And then right here, it says game location on disk. It's pretty simple to find um, C users, DJ, app data, roaming, and then there's your Minecraft fo uh, folder. If you click on uh, this uh, location, it actually simply opens it up, opens your Minecraft folder, and then to mod the actual Minecraft jar, you just go to bin, and there's your Minecraft.jar, and then you follow the instructions on the tutorial thread that uh, you are the mod that you're installing so uh that's that's pretty simple um how to find it another thing i should suggest you do is enable folder and search options you want to go to view uh, make sure show hidden files folders and drivers because if you go from your c drive and then you go to users then after your name app data doesn't show up so that's why some people might not find this folder so that's actually a good a good little help tip that uh, you guys should follow but uh, let's go uh, to the next step and uh, download mod loader and uh, install it so let's go so this is the mod loader page you just want to simply scroll down go to the download link under mod loader and simply download it it's not that hard um, just download the file and uh, open it up once it's done downloading Okay, so the next step is to install Mod Loader. Uh, once you've downloaded it, open it up. Um, I'm using WinRAR to handle all the file opening and editing of uh, transfers and whatnot. On the left, I have Mod Loader open. Um, all you see are dot class files. Uh, this is basically the mod and all the the programming, I guess you could say. Um, on the right, I have the Minecraft folder. Now, typically any mod is a mod of the actual game itself. So all you would have to do is open Minecraft.jar, transfer the files over, and then you're done. That's all. Um, some mods, like single player commands, they actually have separate files. For example, world edit. World edit, you actually don't put in the Minecraft.jar file. You actually put it beside the Minecraft.jar. So there's world edit. So Please, when you install a mod, read the instructions that are on the thread. Um, they do help a lot, but uh, obviously I'm going to make some videos. Um, if you want like different mods, then uh, I'll basically I'll do a little short video and uh, help some of my subscribers out or anyone that's watching. But uh, to get any type of mod, first thing you want to make sure is the meta-inf folder is deleted. I don't know why people have why you have to delete it i just that's just what the tutorial says so i just delete it don't ask any questions but uh yeah that's that's really it about that folder so delete that that's the only way that mods will run um second take the files from your mod and you drag it to the right you, know, you basically add the uh, files to the archive and you close to uh, save the actual file. Also, another thing is you want to make sure Minecraft is closed. If you're edit editing 
the minecraft.jar file and you have minecraft open it will not save so you want to make sure minecraft is closed so now the next part is to test the mod the best way to test it is to actually just run the game and load um, any single player world so I'm just gonna load up playing around with some pistons and as you can see it worked so uh, yeah this is this is basically um, a good a good install shouldn't have any problems installing any other mods that require a mod loader so uh, yeah that's basically it so I just want to end off this video by thanking you guys for watching this video if you liked the video please subscribe also like uh, if you want to ask any questions suggest any type of mods please post in the comments um, you can also follow me on Twitter at djpar79. Uh, you can ask tutorials, whatever you want on Twitter, and uh, basically I'll answer them from there. Uh, it's a quick, easy way to uh, get a live response from me, unless I don't see it, but I should. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically it. I'm djpar79, and I'm out. Peace.